All right, you are still watching Ways and Commonwealth Day 2023 also marks the 10th anniversary of the signing of the Commonwealth Charter, which was um, signed by her late Royal Majesty Queen Elizabeth II on March 11, 2013. The Commonwealth flag for peace features a white dove uh, of, of peace in the bottom right-hand corner of the Commonwealth flag, symbolizing the shared values and principle of the Commonwealth, including cooperation on the economic and social development, diversity, respect, friendship, and promotion of peace around the world. Mm. So, happy Commonwealth Day. Happy yeah. Commonwealth what are the benefits Day. of being part of the Commonwealth? Ah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the way do. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, well, maybe I don't know is not the right thing. I don't see it. Uh, really? Oh, okay, maybe. I mean, if you want to go very professional or very patriotic, and they will say, okay, all the bilateral trades and all that. But I mean, to the average person on the street, I don't see it. So you don't think there's peace? Well, there is peace. I mean, and well, I mean, if you if you put it like that, there is peace, and there is peace. Well, for me, within the Commonwealth, y yeah, I think the Commonwealth nations are actually trying to be honest, mm -hmm. right? Because they are beginning to now embrace that whole diversity. Everybody is oh, looking at each other and true, okay, true, willing to true. have you know do business in true, quotes, you know, have true. people in their countries study and mm, things like that. Mm, so. Mm, mm. Is it free? Light. True. True. Well, it's not free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's another dimension. <laughs> okay, so what did we find in the news? Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. All right. Okay, so man laments shredded old Nara notes in viral video. I think we have this video to play. Uh, a yet-to-be-identified man has lamented the heap of shredded old Naira notes amidst the Naira scarcity in the country. In the video shared on social media today, the voice, voice behind the camera was, was just reading out. How old Naira notes are shredded and disposed of. And he spoke in Pidgin English. He said, if you look closer, you will go see say na money, then grind money, see money, all this one na money, then grind down. Ew. <laughs> Ew. And here I am. This makes Looking for so 200 naira to buy a bottle of water when I'm outside. It's just, it, okay, and so this. did an individual do this? I mean, I have many questions. Because where is this, where is this place, first of all? I wish he went ahead to tell us. Because I have happened. a feeling that the CBN, mm. right, what would they do with the old naira oh, if they don't If they don't shred it. They will destroy it yeah. now. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm yeah. saying? So we need to know, first of all, where this site is located. Yeah. Yes. You know, and again, oh we wow. need to also know this Nigeria. Of money. Wow. Mm. A lot mm. of money. A, a lot, lot of money. Mm -hmm. money. And here we are crying, looking for cash here and there. I can imagine. Mm. <sighs> we'll have to find where the source of yeah. this is. Yeah. Then we can then tell maybe it was a government mm -hmm. authority. Yeah. that mm -hmm. Because again, I mean, all the notes that they are collecting, definitely they are they supposed to dispose of, of it. Course. I don't know if you ever watched the, that movie that um, three was it three women working in like like something that um, that is like the CBN mm. where they they were stealing the old damaged notes. I can't remember the name of that movie. Uh, it was such a that. such a beautiful movie mm. to watch. Mm. How they were moving <laughs> the money. <laughs> uh, okay. I think Quilativa was one of them. I need to find the name of that movie. It's an old movie. It's an old movie. All right, so uh, what do you find for us, Diola? Okay, so this headline is CBN has directed banks to dispense old Naira notes, says Soludo. A number of state governor, Chukuma Soludo, said the Central Bank of Nigeria has directed banks to dispense old Naira notes. Soludo said CBN Governor Godwin Emefele made the disclosure to him in a phone conversation on Sunday night. Commercial banks have been directed by the CBN to dispense old currency notes and also receive same as deposits from customers. Tell us that the commercial banks are to generate the codes for deposits and there is no limit to the number of times an individual or company can make 
deposit. So, I mean, this for me is just all shades of, there are no words for uh, this because, I mean, you're saying that if this is by the central bank, I mean, I would expect that their corporate communications department should have done a press release. I mean, in considering the, the agitation in the country, considering mm -hmm. that there's a lot of news flying up and down, you don't know what is real, what is not real, you know, you would want to make sure that the people are hearing directly from you. So you have a communique, a press conference, do it loud, so it is clear to everyone. So we have a situation where somebody is saying this, another person is saying that, and you can't even verify the authenticity of it, you know. So again, I mean, last week I was speaking to a couple of people, and even up till this morning, they were very emphatic on the fact that they were not going to trade on old notes they would not collect I mean, it i mean so they would not spend it hmm. so you have governors writing i, I saw um a press release or a letter oh, so. by governor sonwolu just before i came in now that said that um, people should transact business people should go about their daily business yeah. using 200 500 1000 uh, old notes you know so again governors are it is almost as if they are all trying to be i don't know is it is it nice is it politically correct? I, I don't even know what is going on. Hmm. You know, so you okay. So what happens if this story or this um, this is not even if CBN is still adamant on the fact that they that's will why I not. said I'm curious to know I where Chinelo's story exactly. is linked to because if Chinelo's story is linked to that, it is so. For instance, the only person that has the audacity. To do, to do so would exactly. be a probably like a yeah. CBN. Yeah. So if that money is being shredded, they have no plans exactly. to take the money they back. Have, so and again, I, I think MFLA and the CBN, they should go on their official handle, exactly. Twitter, their website, post it and say this, this is what is, because there's so much confusion. Too much. That Fabio yeah. today too was yeah, giving ultimatum. Yes. Someone who has given ultimatum, everybody, everybody has Now, busy. someone was telling me that they actually went to the bank. They said, no problem. They will give you old Nera Noto, but you cannot return it back Fun to the bank. bank. You know? And so, I mean, it's it's a bit tricky mm. because now we, we you are living, you know, they say when two elephants fight. Yeah. The brass yes, brass brass Citizens yeah. are the ones suffering yeah. now with this talk of war of who mm. we let yeah. me see who we who mm -hmm. we who we laugh last mm -hmm. you understand between mm -hmm. cbn and um, the supreme court and the governors mm -hmm. right it is the people that are suffering because sure. we don't even know what's happening anymore yeah. right so how do we even verify what to do because we're at loss right? we don't know what to do mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. but on the on the flip side on the flip side the queues in supermarkets are getting longer oh yeah but guess what market women are suffering uh, someone sent me yeah. a picture yeah. of a poultry the entire um, yes. what's it called um, production because the transactions that they oh deal God. with they deal in capital i'm just wondering is a company why can't you do transfers right mm. you know um the other lady there's, there, was, there was a video of a woman i think selling plantain or something that everything was just complete oh i mean people are actually suffering oh, the people that are. deal with they cash are they are trade, suffering you know it's it's sad they are they mm. are because um okay so someone was saying to me that i also raised this question i mean what is the issue you have a bank account you can transfer and she said that so it's easy for her to transfer but the people she's transferring to mm. they don't do that kind of they're rural people because it's a farm mm. and they're very small scale so that's why i'm saying to you that because the poultry picture that i saw this is a big huge farm mm. i'm saying to you that see there's a downside to all of this oh, and there's no course, doubt but you course. see even in the sense of it because mm -hmm. i have been in business for a very long time and i know that part of what helped me to be able to get access to some of the fundings and all of that is because my transactions are documented oh, yeah. through a bank mm. statement. Mm. You understand? Yeah. Most of these people, they deal in a lot of transactions. True. But True. when it comes to Documentation, time yeah, to, to yeah, upscale yeah, their, yeah. their businesses, yeah. they can't upscale because yeah. they don't have a transaction history. Yeah. So I think this is just a time to rethink. It's tough. There's no doubt about it. What I even think is people are even suffering from more. Is And I wish that I, I can talk, ask Sonwolu, how does he plan to, um, what's it called, um, 
how does he plan to Im Im incorporate this curry system that he's doing mm -hmm. for the trains mm -hmm. to the buses? Okay. Do you understand? So the way you have your oyster card, I had not been to the UK in like seven years or how many years. Well, I went, still my card was working. Yeah. I just went, I just topped it up and I was able to go to everywhere that I was going to. Be. I mean, that's how the curry card yeah. should be. Yeah. Do you get? Yeah. So it's not just enough for us to use it for fancy okay. trains yeah. and all of that. Yeah. Let us be able to transact with the curry with our downfall buses. Yeah. And guess what? It just, it just helps to reduce a lot of Sure. You know, all sure. the fight, all the whatever, sure. and all of oh, it reduces it. Even removes the agbero. It removes it. Yeah. It just removes yeah. all those yeah. things. Sure. So if you know that you are paying taxes mm -hmm. already to be deducted from source, sure. then yeah. they can yeah. even trap yeah. their, their tax more. All the tra traffic that we have on the roads, mm -hmm. we need to get those people off the roads. And their data, you know, I mean, this is just data. Sure. All of this is... You know. So my story is actually mm. very interesting. I found mm. it very interesting. I said, ah, wow, this is not a funny thing. So they said about tw another 25 Nigerian nurses face forgery charges in the U.S. <laughs> so according to the report that they're following a very high-end investigation that the Texas Board of Nursing um, in the United States had announced that it had charged no fewer than 75 nurses to court over issues bordering around falsification of certificates that on the list, right, posted on the website of the board, at least 43 of those names were identified nurses of Nigerian descent mm -hmm. or Nigerian origin. Do you understand? Yeah. And um, they had reported that 18 Nigerian nurses in the U.S. were charged with certificate forgery. So, I mean, you see all of these things that people are doing. The reason I'm taking this story, because I know that they say, um, my aunt was, I have a lot of people in the nursing, my, and my aunt, she was, she was a nurse, God bless her soul, until she passed. Part of what they actually look for, to our, one of our, our, our best um, products outside of Nigeria are Ni Nigerian trained nurses. Yeah. So it is, uh, so I don't understand why. And the cost to go and get your nursing yeah. certificate it's not is, is not a big deal. Do you understand? Yeah. So the cost is not a big deal. Why? Because I know, I remember she even started very late. She had finished, like, she didn't know what to do with her life. She was in her late 20s. She didn't know. What, and she just took a course in nursing. And she relocated. Somebody, um, she married and relocated to the, and she was doing well before she passed. Do you understand what I'm yeah. saying? Like, nursing is one of the easiest thing to get. That's so why do we have to get to that point where... We are forging certificates to go and because work. Is it that we think that we can get away with some things? We like short courts. Ha, okay. Oh. They don't we want like to short courts. On that note, mm. that. if they catch you, <laughs> on your own. You are on your own. Exactly. We'll take a break now. When we come back from the break, let's discuss the gubernatorial race. Stay with us. Mm. We'll be right back.